The year 2021 saw a 12% increase in the number of students who choose to pursue their masters from the United States. And you'd be surprised to know that China, which accounts for the largest number of students going abroad, the numbers dropped by more than 8%. In numbers perspective, in 2021, there were nearly 1,70,000 students studying in the US. So that's a pretty, pretty high number, right? It's actually the second highest number in terms of expats going abroad and studying in the US. Now, when we talk about Silicon Valley, the first thing that comes into mind is tech startups which are paying hundreds of thousands of dollars to software developers just like you to make the world's next Netflix, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. So guys, your future depends on the choice you make today. The question of the day is, is an M-Tech from India a better call or MS Engineering abroad a better call? Which one will lead to a successful career and help you move ahead in life? One decision that can change your life forever. So choose wisely. Now, if you're stuck between choosing an M-Tech from India or MS Engineering from the US, then this video is for you. Because I will be doing an in-depth analysis about salaries, eligibility criteria, top programs, top colleges, and multiple other facets. By the end of this video, we'll know which of these generate you the most lucrative income and which is the best for your particular profile. Hey guys, my name is Abhang Shrinath. I'm the CEO and study abroad expert of MIMSA and Mentimi. And in today's video, I'll be doing a showdown between MTech from India versus MS abroad. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to MIMSC to get all the latest study abroad updates. Let's begin. So what exactly is the difference between MS and MTech? MTech in India is a highly specialized engineering course and has a semester system which is divided into four different semesters. These include practicals in various subjects and the curriculum is focused towards industry specific standards and requirements. MS on the other hand is a better option if you want to dig a bit deeper into the field of research and science and within MS degree, you'll be more prepared for advanced technical careers. Now let's dive deeper into the core of the video. Point number one, let's talk about recruiters and how much you will be earning, right? That's the question that is in everybody's mind. In India, an MTech degree can get you an average salary of nearly 9 lakhs per year, which appears to be just peanuts when compared to a whooping salary of over 100k, which you can earn with an MS degree from the US. And when you convert this figure into Indian rupees, it leads to over 80 lakhs, with in face value seems over a 10x jump. You'll be amazed to see that a lot of top companies of the US like Amazon, Alphabet, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, Walmart, IBM, Apple, do offer such kind of salaries. So it's actually facts and figures that we're talking about. In fact, on the screen, you will see a table which reflects the average salary offered by MS programs of top international destination. You will just go nuts. So guys, here, just to put it out there, the salaries are compared just on absolute values, right? They do not take into account PPP. So it's not as if if you're earning 9 lakhs, it is the same as earnings 9 lakhs in the US. The difference is phenomenal. A lot of people tend to ignore economics, but that's for a different video. But even taking into all things account, the technical salaries in US are way higher. Point number two, top programs or specialization. If you're pursuing an MTech in India, you can go for a specialization in aerospace, AI, structural engineering, civil engineering, food tech, electrical engineering, and more. But if you're someone who's looking towards establishing a fruitful career in different fields and want to explore more advanced career programs? Well, MS in US offers degrees in artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science, computer science, petroleum engineering, game design and development, and a lot more. So basically, more cutting edge technologies. Point number three, top colleges. Now let's talk about top colleges that are the best for you when considering an MTech degree from India. To be honest, there are just 23 IITs, 31 NITs, and 25 triple IITs for you, and the rest are all private colleges. But you'll be surprised to know that according to Hindustan Times, more than 69.41% of these seats were vacant for an MTech degree in the year 2021. What this means is a lot of people aren't preferring to do an MTech in India. Rather, they're preferring other programs or moving abroad. And if you look at the data, it's humongous. More than 1.3 lakh students in 2021 preferred to go and do their studies abroad. Overall, if you look at numbers, the number of universities in India, typically IITs, which are associated with engineering, are definitely on the lesser side. So you have to either settle for a lower brand or work really, really, really hard to have a shot at cracking the gate and getting into one of the IITs. Now, when you look at the top colleges for an MS in US, you can see names which will blow your mind. MIT, Stanford, University of California, Cornell, Howard, GHU, Yale, Duke, the list goes on. And these are beautiful schools with amazing campuses and amazing placements, which are the dream for any MS student. The prospects in MS in US are way higher than that in India. Point number four, eligibility criteria. Now let's compare how do you get into the MS program. If you look at an MTech in India, you definitely have to give the gate, which is an entryway into all the top IITs, NITs and so on. There are other private schools which may have their own exams as well, but frankly, they're not worth it. They'll also look at your research papers and look at your academics. But if you choose to go for an MS, they account for a lot more things. As an MS program is inclined towards research, 
you need to make sure that you have at least a 3.0 GPA on a scale of 4.0, which in BTEC in India is accountable for 75% or more. You'll also have to give the GRE exam for most cases, and they'll also be closely scrutinizing the kind of projects and research papers you've done. You'll also have to write SOPs, LORs, applications, right? It is a pretty cumbersome process which you have to be prepared for. Now, guys, if you've watched the video so far, I'm sure you're planning to study abroad and go to a top MS school. And this is where we can help you out. You can go ahead and book a free consulting session via the link in the description below. And one of our MIS experts will help you figure out exactly which schools you can target, which schools you're eligible for, if you need to give a GRE or not, and make sure you land with the best school possible, which gives you the best salary that you're looking for. So go ahead and click on the link in the description below. Now we move to point number five, the course duration. For an MD degree in India, usually the course is for two years, split between four semesters. Whereas an MS degree from a country like US, it depends on the program and the duration can be in between one to two years. Here the MS programs are definitely inclined to make you more job ready. A lot of them have a semester where you can actually go ahead and work while you're studying and earn while you are actually studying. How cool is that? Now we go and talk about the last point that is the average tuition fees. Now we talked a lot about these 100K salaries. But on the dark side, there is a huge investment that goes into pursuing your MS, which is not this case in India. Now, if we compare an MS abroad with an MTech in India, the fees difference is huge. It's actually humongous. In comparison, you can spend anything between three to almost 20 times higher when you're going abroad and studying. It depends on the university. For example, a university like MIT will cost you a lot more compared to a university like ASU. There are state universities which are cheaper, of course, and get scholarships. But on an average, even when we compare to an MTech from India, you can spend a lot more. For comparison's sake, I'm going to give you a list of the top three USMS schools compared to top three MTech India schools to get an idea of how different the tuition fees are. But if you ask me, it's really worth it. Because at the end of the day, the ROI you get, the international exposure you get, will really help you take your career to the next level. So with that, we come to the end of the video. So at the end of the day, which is better? Well, the answer is it depends. It depends on what your goals are. If you see yourself just in India, want to build your career in India, India is booming, right? There are a lot of good companies out there. There are a lot of tech companies, a lot of tech startups that are coming up. So if you just see yourself working in India, an MTech will give you a lot more opportunities. On the other hand, if you want exposure, you want to settle abroad, you want to work abroad for some years, work in Silicon Valley, right? work with the best tech startups and then come back, then an MS abroad can be a very, very good opportunity, which you definitely should not leave. For example, I was also an engineer. But unlike my brother, I was not at all interested in engineering. Hence, I went and did my master's, my master's in management from ESCP Europe in France, which is one of the top five in the entire world. And that opened up a slew of opportunities for me. As I went ahead and worked in Amsterdam, I worked in Paris, and then went ahead to start two very successful companies. So all in all, if you are looking at getting exposure, at getting it, taking your career to the next level, want to grow beyond India, then definitely an MS abroad is a no brainer And if you're worried about the expenses, and Definitely, you should be right. It's a huge sum. There are definitely scholarships that you can target. There are loans that you can get. There are a lot of organizations that give you interest as low as 6%. And again, if you have a good application, you have a very good shot of getting a scholarship as well. Here is again where we can help you out. So guys, if you are serious about your MS applications, you can go ahead and book a free strategy session and we'll help you figure out which schools you should target, where you have a high chance of getting a scholarship, as well as which schools you can target where you have a high chance of getting that 100K salary. So go ahead and book a free study session now if you haven't already. So that's it for today, guys. I hope it was a valuable session and gave you some clarity on if you should be going abroad or not. If you have any further questions or if you have any questions about MS in US, MS in Canada, MS in India, particular schools, go ahead and put in the comments below and we'll be happy to answer them and make sure that you take an educated decision.